Good afternoon, my name is Peter Burgess. I'm a wild blueberry specialist with Perinia. We're back here again in a wild blueberry field in September and we're going to look at uh, weeds in both vegetative and fruiting ear fields or fields that have just been harvested. Fall is a great time to look at weeds, identify what they are and determine if they're going to be a problem in the coming year. So today we're going to walk through some fields, look at, look at some of the weeds and determine if they're a problem and how we can address them. Okay, so right here we have a, a com fairly common grass. It's a witch grass. It's a late emerging grass that, that uh, emerges uh, typically early July. It can be a real problem in blueberry fields. A, a real key for identifying this grass is the seed, the seed head, but also it's one of the few grasses that has hairs on the stem. It's a really, uh, really identifying feature. It is an annual. So this plant itself is essentially dead. The seeds that fall off will form new plants the next year. As you can see in this field, there's a fair amount of witchgrass in it, and the, this producer is gonna have to try and address this problem uh, next year. It's a vegetative year. They may have to put a control on in, uh, in July in order to harvest the field. So here you can see the, the density of the grass and how it can impact uh, blueberry plant development where it's shading out the blueberry plants down below. So it's important to get, get control of this grass before it shades out your plants. So up ahead here we can see uh, a real common weed in Lowbush blueberry is sheep sorrel. This uh, strip here is obviously a miss from the Valpar application. It's an important reason to calibrate your sprayer and make sure you're spraying accurately. But this is uh, sheep sorrel, it's a big issue because you're, th these, the density of this plant is going to produce uh, a lot of seed uh, for the coming year. The key identifying feature for this uh, weed is the arrow shaped leaf and you can, here you can see this, this close up of it and it's a real uh, key feature to show that, so the grower can identify this weed. So here we have a different grass species, it's a fairly common perennial call it tickle grass. There is some witch grass mixed in with it. So during harvest, the billows and blows around the field can be uh, really problematic for harvesting and for yield reduction. You can see the, the, the leaves are at the base and very fine, uh, but the real characteristic of this grass is that these the seed heads blow around the field, they caught the tractors, and you can see the color difference between this which grass, which is just over there. As we're walking through the field looking at weeds, we're also notice, looking for uh, plant health and diseases. Here we can see leaf rust on the underside of a leaf. You can see the orange pustules. Um, if, if leaf rust is severe, it'll cause early leaf drop, um, which reduces your uh, floral bud uh, development. So typically, uh, Bravo or Proline application in uh, late July helps to control this. So here's another common grass that you see in most blueberry fields. It's not a big problem in this field, but poverty oat grass grows in this clump and a real diagnostic uh, indicator that this is poverty oat grass. If you look right where the leaf joins the stem, you can see little hairs. That's a key diagnostic tool for this grass. Again, this is, an, this is a perennial that tip, typically emerges late May, early June. So that's when you really want to put your grass herbicides on to control this grass. It is key to under, understand which grass species you do have, whether it's poverty oak grass, tickle grass, witch grass, or fescue, which we don't have in this field. So looking at this field, you can see that Weed problem is not a, a huge issue just by looking at it from the side of the road, but it's important to look and see what's below the canopy to help determine what you can control the next year. Look underneath the canopy, you can see there's a lot of sheep sorrel plants emerging. So it's important that we you keep uh, your Valpar control uh, for next spring after this field has been mowed because there would be a huge sheep sorrel problem. 